All right, so this is, uh, I'm, today I'm going to run through this order processing workflow. All right, so for first timers, for beginners, uh, this will be, this is a very exciting point for you. And uh, I, I still remember, you know, for my first sale, this is, you know, I cannot believe that you know, this is, uh, I can actually do a business in this way. And the first time to doing order processing is very, very fun. And you know when you have done your first order. Okay, so uh, this is uh, this is roughly a workflow. It may seem seems complicated, but I will explain from head to tail. So this is what you're gonna do from start till end. All right. After we have done all the listings for you in your store, your store most probably have maybe. Uh, 1000 items in, in the store and uh, this these are like you are like a mini supermarket and you have all the items generating uh, and that have 1000 items for sale in the Q10 platform so Q10 have like a lot of traffic they have like 3 million registered users so from there they will actually purchase items from you so so these buyers will go in the platform, you know, they search your item, they like the picture, or whatever reason, like your pricing. So they will give the first sales, the sales to you. So what you're gonna do before you do the process, what I will normally will do, we will confirm the orders first. The reason for this is if you don't confirm the orders, and customers can actually cancel the order anytime. All right? So we confirm the orders first. Then we go to talk cash bank, all right, to clock our cash back. Okay, so you must be confused why we have this uh, Ali pocket arrow, all right? Ali pocket arrow, Ali pocket is actually uh, a gift card in AliExpress. So why we need to use a gift card instead of just direct purchase using credit card? The reason is because now currently there's a gray area. When you use when you buy Ali Pocket through Top Cashback, they do give a uh, cashback of uh, six percent. All right. Uh. So actually, so once you clock the six percent cashback in Top Cashback, you have the value in Ali Pocket. When you doing order processing, you go through Top Cashback again, and you buy using Ali Pocket, they do give another six percent. In uh in this kind of situation. All right. So when okay, so since we are discussing our total cashback, there are dropshippers that feedback to me. You know, some or their orders, you know, it's not being tracked. You know why? Uh, it's being tracked for other pocket, or sometimes it's not being tracked for other pocket. It's tracked for other processing. All right. My as okay for my experience, I also face with this. Okay. So for my understanding, that there is no no way. Uh. Talk cashback actually don't allow you to appeal for cashbacks for AliExpress. Another thing is I feel that uh, it's very tedious to, to track every orders for cashback and some cashback can be like few cents and all this. But if you're that kind of person, you know, you want to count every single orders, maybe you need to feedback to cashback and ask them, you know, how do I, what should you do to actually make sure that every order is being tracked properly? Is that something to do with the cookies? Is it the browser? Uh, there may be some other reason for it, all right? For personally, me do not track every single and uh, every single uh, orders, and there are people that feedback to me. You know, this why this top cashback. You know, my video is showing eight percent, and now why is it only six percent? That kind of things. Okay, for top cashback, they have the right to actually reduce the percentage any point of time. Last time, if they give me eight percent. Now it's six percent. It can be five, four, three percent in the future. All right. Personally, I like. I've get used to cashback. I like. They are uh, comfortable with this six percent. But if you can find other talk cash uh, cashback site out there that give a higher percentage, and you feel comfortable using them, then feel free to go ahead. This is your business. Of course, you want to have as much margin as possible for your own business. All right. I'm only recommending those sites that I'm using personally. I've I've tested before. So this is more for like, you know, beginners that you know need uh 
need, need some uh, guidance. So I would suggest them to actually just follow my way. But for other, some people that, you know, you have a certain expertise, you are really experienced, you want to try other, try out other things, please feel free to go ahead. As long as it's profitable for your business, that is, that is fine, all right? So because this is your business owner, everyone wants to find ways to generate more margin for yourself, all right? So once you have ordered, you have processed the order, AliExpress will provide the order tracking number and ship out to customer directly. All right, so what we need to do, we take this order tracking number and we'll update the tracking number to the buyer in, in the platform. And, and this, this will, this will, the, the orders will be become on delivery status in Q10. All right. So do take note that even though we have updated the tracking number, uh, buyers will not see the tracking number because we are using Q Express. All right. I've gotten some feedback also regarding this. All right. My explanation is this. All right. I've done a lot of uh, trial and error. I try to fix this. All right. I try to use China Post registered mail. I try to indicate shipping from China. Okay, in the end, I think that we are spent, and now I spent a lot of time on uh, managing each individual orders. And you have to and you have to manage from inquiries from customers, you have many inquiries from Q10 customer service. And with we are with we and if you use China Post registered mail, they have a function that you know customers must click receive item before you can you can get the money into your account. So actually when so every single order, most probably maybe you need to email to the seller at Q10.3 to track every single order and, and ask Q10 to update the tracking number for you. You provide the tracking number and show that customer has received the item, blah blah blah. But when you use Crew Express, they have actually they told, uh, if I'm not wrong, they have actually have this mechanism. No? Automatically, within two or three weeks, they will they will process the money to our account. And I feel that this is this is better for us. However, that the issue is you no know, people will will customers will feedback. You know, this is misleading. You are indicating Q Express, but you are doing China Post. Blah blah blah. But for me, I want to minimize all the customer service that I have to do at the end back end because this is not a profitable part of my business. Of course, we still uh, still answer them professionally within one business days, provide the best customer service support. But this is the part that no matter what you do, you can actually you can never fulfill the KPI from Q10 because Q10 local delivery two to three days from overseas four to five business days. All right. Some people say that, you know, this, uh, I, I've explained to some other uh, potential, you know, customer, they told me that, you know, this is like a scam because it's misleading on the listing. It shows that two to three, do, two to three days domestic delivery and we ship out two to four weeks later. This is like, uh, we are like trying, it's like a scam. This is not a scam. I would, I would say that this totally is not a scam. All right. We always make sure that the customer receive the item at the end of the day when we receive the money. If the item is not received or there's damage, we do a full refund. All right. The reason why we did not update is because that is the default setting in Q10. We cannot do any updates to indicate our well, these things that the delivery will take two to four weeks. With that is, I will put in every single listing that I have. All right. So this is a restriction from the Q10 platform. There's nothing to do with, you know, we do not, uh, our, my, uh, the listing time from uh, my team or me is, it's not done properly. There's no such thing because at the end of the day, this is a restriction. I, if, if I can fix it, I will already fix it for my own store. All right. I'm also doing this business for my side. It's not like I'm only doing for others. Okay, so uh, people ask me, you know, how do we resolve this? Is there a better way? I would suggest, 
Uh, I would suggest that this, if you want, you feel that this is too misleading and uh, you're unable to do this business, I would suggest maybe you can, we can, you can go to, uh, go back to the traditional model. You find a supplier out there, you bring a container of items, you load up in your house or warehouse, then you ship out yourself. That is the only way that you can guarantee that the shipping is done on time and customer can receive the item on time. Another thought, other way I've thought of and uh, I've seen other people suggest the done it, they find local suppliers and the local supplier actually ship out from there for them. So most probably with the supplier able to ship out on time, you still can achieve the two to three business days in Singapore. So these two, these are two alternatives that you can consider with this business model does not fit, that you don't feel comfortable with this current business model. All right. For for me, I've done this for like close to two years, and I so far I've done. Um, I look at the reviews in the store. People, of course, we cannot get like five star rating for our store. So far, I've seen three stars, three and a half stars, based on what I've done, and ninety five percent of my customers are happy with with this and only 5% of customers that you know what I face that, that feel that this is uh, ridiculous and all these things. So to, to me, I think um, you have to have certain flexibility doing this drop shipping business. And you already know that you are shipping out to customers two to four weeks uh, longer. And if you cannot uh, manage this expectation and uh, there's a lot of issues in your store definitely there's a higher risk that you then will come to you and you know and you know and try and, and see what are you doing in, in, in their particular marketplace so you have we have to be very careful with this but so far I have not had many major issues with Q10 and uh, I feel that this this is a very good model because we can we can start doing a business with a small capital small uh, capital startup and uh, I don't think there's any many business models out there that can let you start with such a small capital and we do not have the stress of uh, keeping inventory the most stressful part maybe we have to handle this uh, customer service customers and uh, these issues, but I feel that um, every businesses have their pros and cons. This definitely, this is for you to judge and whether this is suitable for you. All right, but I would just say that this is a very profit. This is a profitable model, and since now the margin is still healthy, I will continue to do it. I hope that you all can will continue to do it and. Uh, with, when we reach a stage that that uh, you know people mention to me you know will there be more competition and all this uh, how do we know that you know we, we will not be selling the same items in the platform and blah 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 but my my thinking is uh, definitely there are other drop shippers in the Q10 marketplace we are not the only one there's no way you can dominate this uh, Q10 marketplace in terms of doing job shipping. All right, we can never be the major players, but with even with uh, the gross, let's say the gross revenue of Q10 is in maybe one billion or few hundred million. Even if, if we do a 0.001% of revenue, it's more than enough for us. We are doing, a, this is a, doing a micro business Unless you are doing, telling me you want to go into a seven digits revenue, or maybe even more doing in Q10, then I would suggest that I don't think this model is uh, is sustainable in the long term. Long term, I would say more than three years. All right, then you have to consider, you know, whether do you want to do the traditional way or method. Uh, 
maybe that is more sustainable because you are holding real inventory and there's no reason Q10 will come and find fault with you and you are able to fulfill the delivery time. But for our case, we are not sure whether Q10 will crack down, will start to focus on dropshippers in the future. But for now, I don't see them doing it. Okay, I shared my past experience last time I was doing eBay. All right, eBay is also doing job shipping. Uh, until recently, they have some changes in their system. They have a lot of crackdown on job shippers. And this recent model is not as profitable than in the past. All right, it was very profitable like three years back. So we do not know what will happen two to three years down the road. But in this uh, current marketplace and this uh, era, this internet era, you know, profitable business opportunities come and go. We work on whatever opportunities that is profitable now. And we try to explore what is the next profitable opportunity that we can work on in the future. So this is my thought and I feel that this we can still continue this for two to three years and I'm happy to help all more dropshippers to, to to jump on this uh, profitable train. But we will feel that this is the not for you. I would suggest that you know at least you get back all your capital. Uh, you're at least on break even before you consider shutting down your store. All right. Okay. Thank you and uh, have a nice day ahead.